Hey everybody, Tony Impertris here, and today we're going to take a look at this Wix 5 rank unit pipe organ. In my last video, we were looking at my 1979 built Rogers 725, and I mentioned that it was laid out the same way that a unit pipe organ is laid out. And so today we get to look at a unit pipe organ and see just exactly what that means. This church has big plans for this organ, and I am really proud to be a part of that project. Our plan is to turn this into a pipe digital hybrid organ, and we're going to accomplish that by bringing in a new Rogers Model 787 digital organ, and we're going to interface it with their pipe organ so that the two work seamlessly together and they'll have a big glorious organ sound in here for Christmas. So this organ really kind of has a little bit of sentimentality for me. When I was a teenager and I first got interested in pipe organs and wanted to learn how to play and how they worked and all of that, my grandfather really got inspired by that and he went out and bought an organ very similar to this one and we put it in his house. So I really had first class equipment to practice on when I was a teenager and uh, I was very blessed to have that. So unit pipe organ, what is a unit pipe organ? Okay, in the early days of pipe organ building, you of course had a mechanical connection between the key and the pipe valve that would open up and allow the pressurized air into the organ pipes so that they could speak. In that particular situation, you had to have a separate rank of pipes for each and every stop on the instrument. There was just no other way to do it. In the late 19th century, there started to be experiments with using some type of electric valve mechanism so that electrical wiring could be connected between the keys and the pipe organ valve. Pipes are either on or off. The valve opens, the air is rushing in, the pipe speaks. They're not really dynamic by touch the same way that a piano is. You can't get loud and soft simply by touching the keys, soft or loud. And so you can build an electric valve system and the organ works just fine. There were a number of experiments, but it was a guy named Robert Hope Jones who came up with the first successful electric pipe organ valve and that allowed the console to be located remotely and all kinds of other advantages. But one of the big advantages it allowed for was unification. Instead of having a separate rank of pipes for each and every stop on the organ, you could have a single rank of pipes and have it speak in several locations and thus get much the same effect. So what we'll do here is we'll look first at the RAR flute pipes and so we have at normal pitch, but they also speak at octave pitch. That's the same rank of pipes, but all we've done is taken the keyboard and connected it to a batch of 61 pipes, and then on the higher stop, connected it to another batch of 61 pipes. In this organ, it goes from sub bass normal pitch, octave pitch, super octave pitch, and it even speaks at some mutations. So what's happening there is that rank of pipes is 97 pipes long, 97 notes, 97 pitches. The keyboard, however, is only 61 notes long. So for the sub bass, we connect it to the bottom and then we just work our way up by octaves or fifths and we cover the whole thing. The same thing is done on the other ranks, the principal, which is literally the same thing as doing this. And a 
of course, you can connect them together. Now that sounds all fine and well at first, but there's some big disadvantages to unifying everything on an organ. Right off the bat, our flute on the swell and our flute on the grade are exactly the same. So nothing happens here when I try to play the same notes. Whereas if I'm from a different rank, something happens. At the end of the day, to have an organ that's more straight than borrowed or unified is an advantage because then you don't have note dropouts and holes in the sound, but that of course is more expensive. So it's always that balance between what's practical to do and what's musically most uh, artistic to do. So in this case, when we bring in the digital organ, and we interface it with the pipe organ, what's gonna happen is the core of the sound, kind of that main foundation of the sound, is gonna come from those pipes, and then they're gonna be supported by all these additional voices that we bring in with the new console. So as we go through this project, I'll be making a number of videos. We'll show you the installation of the digital organ. We'll go into the organ chamber, we'll look at the pipes, we'll look at the relay equipment, and how this all goes together. So we've got a really fascinating series of videos for you. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to make that 100 subscriber mark and, pa and pass that up so that I can take advantage of the really nice features that uh, YouTube has for people who are really bringing in viewership. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time.